What's up, everyone? We're back. Dr. Maxfield. Dr. Shah, and welcome back to our channel, Dr. Lee, where we talk about all things skincare and dermatology. Today, we got something special for you, a little bit of a gift at the end here. But today, we're gonna be talking about the ordinary salicylic acid option. Salicylic acid is actually a topic we been wanting to talk about. We'll do an even longer form video, deep dive on this in the future. But today we're gonna to highlight some of the new, old, and the cornerstone products from The Ordinary. I've been accused of recommending salicylic acid for everything as a solution to all things. So we're gonna be talking about some of the benefits of salicylic acid. We're really highlighting the differences between these three products from The Ordinary. Plus, at the end, we will be giving away all of these options, so check out for that. Salicylic acid from The Ordinary. Here we go, here we go. What salicylic acid does is actually multifaceted, which is why it's in over-the-counter products for everything from acne to psoriasis to like exfoliators, it's everywhere. But we do know that it does have a lot of benefits. It is a beta hydroxy acid, sort of, it's lipophilic. So it enters the oil gland, it helps dissolve the oil, remove the oil, it actually can decrease some of the oil production. It's also kind of keratolytic, helps break up the skin cells and all that like makes it foundational in the over-the-counter acne space. Dr. Shaw got some criticism for recommending salicylic acid for all things, and that's the exact same criticism I have for it. You all know, one of my main pet peeves is if something is over-promising, and I actually feel like salicylic acid is like doing that these days. One of my pet peeves is like the word pet peeve for some reason. I don't know why, it just bugs me for some reason. <laughs> I kind of agree, it's a little bit overhyped and, and tends to underperform in some situations, but it seems to fit into a lot of different scenarios. And we'll talk about some of the benefits of salicylic acid and what conditions it fits in. So before we jump into the product offerings from The Ordinary, let's just talk about what conditions this is gonna benefit. So one, you may want one of these products if you have acne, if you have enlarged pores, if you have blackheads. You could use it on keratosis pilaris, but these bottles are kind of small for that, but it would help for something like that. If you had ichthyosis vulgaris on your legs, it would be beneficial for that. That's what salicylic acid would do, but these are more for the face, these products that are formulated from the ordinary. All right, so let's start off by talking about the salicylic acid 2% mask. So I've been talking about this one for a long time because I like it for a very specific use. So this has your 2% salicylic acid. It also has your different kaolin bentonite clays that help to lift dirt debris out of your pores. And so this is meant to be used as a mask, left on for 10 minutes and then washed off. I like this product for people with more oily skin. Um, I like it for that reason because not only can the salicylic acid remove some of the oils, break down the oils on your skin, but then like the clay, we've talked about it before, it can have a bit of a drying effect. So I imagine this is not gonna be a great fit for someone with sensitive skin, but for someone with really oily skin, it's a pretty strong addition. So the specific use case scenario that I like this in, and, and I've done a video on this like probably over a year ago, but basically a lot of people like to use pore strips in this area for enlarged pores or blackheads to try to lift out all those sebaceous filaments and gunk that's building up in the pores. So I like to use this as a mask once a week in this area, just kind of paint this area over here with this mask. It comes out black, so it's really easy to see where it's actually going and then just washing it off. And that really helps me personally get rid of those blackheads on my nose or the sebaceous filaments that build up on my nose. So for somebody who doesn't particularly have acne or oily skin or have texture issues that they wanna solve all over their entire face, just concentrating this on the T-zone, this makes this a very effective product for that particular role. See, okay, here's why I love that actually. So my favorite way to use salicylic acid is a rinse off product. And the reason is because the lipophilic is gonna help rinse off the oils. And I think when you're talking to get to the exfoliator space, I think there are better options usually and more effective options. But using this once or twice a week to remove Remove the sebaceous stuff that's in and clogging your pores is actually great. I love that. And then you can complement that tremendously with other ingredients like retinoids, niacinamide, things to decrease the oil production and the refill process. I would say once a week and then moisturize afterwards, especially if you're prone to getting a little dry in these areas. So now that we know the place of that salicylic acid mask, I think the two that you would need to decide between would be the standard salicylic acid solution and the anhydrous solution. So how do you choose between the two of these? But first, let's talk about the standard 2% salicylic acid solutions. This was a very popular, had a cult-like following, and then it vaporized from two years from the ordinaries list. And they actually had a 400 person waiting list for this product. 400,000. Did I say 400 people? You did. <laughs> That's not a lot of people. 400,000 people 
we're waiting for this to come back out. So this is finally back out and this is gonna be included in the giveaway. But this is your standard salicylic acid solution in a water base. Because of the water base, um, this is good for someone who has, of course, oily skin. It's gonna be very lightweight when you apply it and this is a leave-on product. So best for the person in acne prone skin, oily, maybe combination, but you're gonna pick your areas. Best for the T-zone. Um, for any of those conditions we first mentioned. And I will say that this one is pretty spreadable. If you've ever used the Paul's Choice liquid exfoliant, that one is like a pure water base. Like you have to essentially tap that one in where this one is actually, it has more of a glide feel to it, but it does end up drying without a shine. What, how do you? Yeah, matte, right? Yeah, it dries matte. Spreads well, but dries matte, let's say that way. Which is again, another reason why it's great for someone with oily skin. Like me, I'm all about the matte. And now a year later, I've realized it's because I'm an oilier person than Dr. Shaw. Yeah, a matte finish is nice. Right, so this is your standard 2% salicylic acid solution. It's gonna do everything that a salicylic acid solution does. The way that you would layer this is you'd cleanse, you'd apply this wherever you wanna apply it and then you put a moisturizer over the top, leave it on all day or all night, however you prefer. Can you use it during the day? Can you use it at night? Let's talk about the use stuff at the end. Okay. So in addition to salicylic acid, this one has saccharide isomerate, which is meant to help to moisturize. So in addition, having that salicylic acid benefit, it's also supposed to moisturize. But like I said, it still dries matte. To me, this is your standard salicylic acid solution. I like it. I think a lot of people will like it because a lot of people will benefit from salicylic acid. But to me, it doesn't necessarily stand out against anything else. I would agree with that, but I think that's where the ordinary make made its name. Like, it's just like, this is blank. Here it is, it's affordable, easy to get. And so I think this is like very much in line with what the ordinary actually is. I don't think you can find a salicylic acid solution of this quality at this price point other than this option. So I still think it makes it stand out in that way. So next up, let's talk about the anhydra solution because I think this one's a little bit more interesting to me. I think it's interesting to you too, but to me, it's a little bit more interesting. So this one I was like very excited about when it initially came out. I actually called all the stores in my area, like Ulta Sephora, no one had it, but here's why. So I'm, I guess I have a more oily complexion. My first thought was like, oh, salicylic acid and oil-based combination. This is gonna be great to remove oils and sunscreen. Like I'm always trying out different oil-based cleansers and cleansers to get rid of the sunscreen on my face because I'm always outside. So this was like, a, that was like its niche off the thought kind of role. You wanted to use this as a cleanser? I did. I actually wanted to use this as like a spot, a spot cleanser for uh, sunscreen. Did you try it? Mm -mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, that's very helpful. Thanks, Dr. Maxwell. Um, so as an anhydrous solution, this basically means that it doesn't have water in it. So instead of being in a water base, it's actually in a oil base. It's in that squalene oil. And you know, we love squalene oil. It's one of our favorite skin oils, notably a non-comedogenic or non-pore clogging oil. So this is supposed to not cause acne. Bear in mind, just because I say it's not supposed to cause acne in you, doesn't mean it won't cause acne in you. So you always have to listen to your own skin. But in general, squalene is a non-comedogenic oil. One of the main reasons I did also like legitimately get excited about this is we get questions all the time about, I have acne and sensitive skin, like what the heck can I use? And this is actually, this is gonna help fill that space, especially for the over counter world, because this gives you a salicylic acid, but squalene is just such like a soothing, moisturizing ingredient. It's like a humectant and a moisturizer. This actually provides that dry, sensitive, acne prone skin with an actual simple and easy to use product. So if you're somebody that's wanting to use salicylic acid, but you find that every salicylic acid product out there tends to dry you out, then this is the product for you because that squalene base really tends to hydrate the skin and have the benefits of salicylic acid that really slowly over time concentrates in your pores, but at the same time doesn't dry you out. So I actually like split it up on my hand and that side of my hand is still glowing from that squalene oil. I personally like that dewy look, so I would use this product. Now, if you're somebody who tends to have oily skin, that tends to complain about oily skin, you hate the idea of having dewy skin, you want more of that matte look, so then this wouldn't be a good option for you. So I would go with the standard salicylic acid solution to try to take off some of that oil. Whereas if you want that dewy look and you're a little bit on the dry sensitive side and having large pores and acne, then I would go with this one. So between these two products, um, we have the anhydrous squalene based formula and then the water based formula, dry, sensitive, acne prone skin. You're gonna go for the oil based squalene based anhydrous solution. If you have oily, more resilient skin, you're probably gonna like the way that the new re-released water based salicylic acid from the ordinary feels 
And for the rest of the video, I'm going to be wearing the oil-based on my right side of my face. I don't know what side that's gonna look like to you. So this is my right side, oil-based, and then left side is gonna be water-based. I just wanna see if on camera, if it actually like makes a difference, oily, matte or not. I just wanna know. So then I will wear the mask for the rest of the video. <laughs> I personally like the water-based uh, solution from The Ordinary a little better. It just fits with my skin type. I was actually more excited for you all for the anhydrous version of it. As obsessed as I am with oils, I actually don't like them on my skin, but I'm still more excited uh, for you all to have this option, I think. <laughs> right, so I think that the anhydrous is a more exciting option. More people are gonna like the water base because that's your standard salicylic acid solution. And salicylic acid is for the people really with more oily skin. So it really is gonna have more of a space there for more people. I like this. Um, so to kind of summarize, um, if you have large pores, blackheads, sebaceous filaments in this area, you wanna minimize the appearance of that. I really like the mask and the other options you can use for the rest of the face. For the giveaway, you're gonna have the option to pick one of these three options. So you have to watch the video to figure out which option is best for you. You have to choose wisely. That's true. This is like the first time, like, you actually have to go to the end and then go back to get the value out of the end. Oh yeah, that's true. You can't just skip ahead. Yeah. Maybe you can, you can just guess. Yeah, or guess and roll the dice. Um, and then in addition to whichever of these three products you pick, you will also be getting the Squalane cleanser, which again, I'm a big fan of oil-based cleansers. I always have sunscreen that needs to be washed off and the natural moisturizing factors plus HA. So you will be getting these plus one of the three other SA products. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the description of this. There's gonna be a form to fill out you're gonna give your name and your email address. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna email the 20 winners. So 20 people are gonna win here, so high odds. And basically choose one salicylic acid option and you'll also get the cleanser and moisturizer that come with that. So go join the Google Doc there and fill out the form and we'll let you know who wins. <laughs> we actually forgot to mention what's been behind us this whole video here. So this is our million subscriber plaque. Oh, yep. This something we're very thankful for. It's been a crazy journey with you all over the last last year, year and a half just total. Um, we're so grateful for all of you. This has been an amazing journey. Dr. Maxfield and I, we loved educating prior to YouTube and like to have the opportunity to educate millions of people through our channel is something we never imagined would happen. And if you go back and watch our original <laughs> videos, we're like literally on a couch, like the production quality is awful and the channel's come so far, but we've come this far with you. And so thank you to all of you. This is amazing. We're just so thankful and appreciative for that. Beyond our, our wildest dreams. So thank you to all of you. This is awesome. Oh, I'm behind us too. Also this plaque. Oh, yeah. us. We didn't even talk about this plaque. That was like a part of this video. This yeah. is our $1 million. No, $1 million. <laughs> this is our no, we did not make a million dollars on YouTube. <laughs> 1 million subscriber plaque.